Hello artists and uh, some of you might know that I got rejected by the RCA last year. I applied for a painting MA at the number one art college in the entire world and yeah, uh, they rejected me. So I'm going to be reapplying this year. The first deadline I think is 28th of October for the first portfolio submission and then January for the second one. I'm going to be going for the second submission again because at this kind of period in time I don't see myself refining my work enough to be able to have enough good work to submit for that October deadline but I am going to be documenting my whole process this time and then once I've submitted my portfolio I will just put my basically my whole portfolio on the internet to see what kind of response I get from the internet versus the response I get from the RCA. So actually since I've um, since I've made that RCA video, um, I've been in contact with a lot of RCA students over the past how many months it's been since I got that rejection and since I put that video up. So I've got a lot of insider information now and uh, yeah. So basically what I'm saying is I have much a much better idea of what I'm supposed to be putting into the portfolio slash whatever the RCA is kind of expecting to see in a portfolio. So one thing I was right about in my last video is I said that, you know, the, the concept of my work or the kind of the context behind my work, it wasn't really, uh, I guess, developed enough and it wasn't kind of as coherent and clear as I, I could have made it. And this was very true because what the RCA is expecting you to have is, you know, you can have obviously different ideas that you've worked through in different kind of projects and, um, what they expect you to do is have an understanding of your idea, have an understanding of the historical context of your idea. How does that relate to the contemporary context? Are there kind of different things between the two things? And then how is that relevant in your contemporary art field and what do you plan to do in the modern context? So to translate that into English, that's basically like, for example, if I, let me just break this down to something quite simple. Let's just say I'm interested in the idea of angels and I don't know, painting angels or something, right? You look into the historical context of, okay, how have angels been used or painted throughout the history of art, of what we know, maybe in the Renaissance period, what did they represent? Uh, were there any kind of uh, political or cultural indications through the imagery of angels? What were they narrating? Uh, who were they painted by? What society were they in? So understanding the different contexts that the imagery existed in. And then you kind of relate that to now, okay, how are angels used in a contemporary context? What is the modern world compared to the uh, past or whatever time period you're looking at? Are there now different cultural and political kind of uh, nuances related to the imagery of angels? I think hopefully someone is understanding what I am saying, but you have that kind of uh, historical foundation, um, but you understand it now in a contemporary context and whatever voice you're trying to, you can basically then meld your own voice into that concept slash presentation of angels and obviously uh, have a personal kind of uh, take to it because that's exactly what artists do, right? You're communicating your own personal message to the world through your painting medium or whatever medium you're using. Oh yeah, and of course, of course, I have been emailing the RCA again and again and again and again, because look, I'm gonna put up on the screen now, they've got the same portal, uh, portal uh, set up for um, the portfolio submission. It's the same as last year. So you've got a video, which is about two minutes you need to submit. You've got a statement of kind of intent of why you want to study at the RCA. Obviously you've got your reference um, and of course the portfolio section. Now the portfolio section, four sections, five images per section. This year, um, kind of, last year I kind of just did a random assortment of images which I thought was my good work without much historical grounding slash uh, clear coherent concept behind it. So maybe on the technical side my work was not bad but um, the kind of context behind or the thinking behind the critical thinking the historical kind of uh critical analysis basically it just wasn't there for the uh level that the rca wanted it but of course i had been emailing emailing them again and again asking them are there any specifics that they want for the painting ma and of course 
they have not replied to a single one of my emails. Uh, that was expected anyways. But as you can see here, each section, five midges. What I'm gonna do this time is actually uh, four different projects. So I'm gonna show how I can look at possibly like four different concepts um, or four different whatever I'm interested in and then ground it in a historical kind of context, relate it to the modern world and then show how, you know, this is gonna be re relevant in the contemporary art scene or however I am trying to communicate my message as a modern citizen of the West or whatever. But I've actually been, um, I've been drawing a lot recently. Uh, I've realized that sometimes when I jump straight into painting, I'll start kind of different paintings. And then after something sits for a while, you're like, that painting is crap. I should have gone back to the drawing board and kind of thought through this a bit more. So what I'm trying to do is kind of just draw a lot more. So I have all these drawings sitting around so that I can look at after they sit for a while and then I can be like, okay, that drawing is crap. I'm glad I didn't make that into a painting. And then this drawing, hmm, after two weeks, it still looks good. Maybe I should paint that. So that's kind of how I'm organizing my imagery at the moment. And actually one of the, I'll give away a little secret. One of the projects I'm gonna be doing is obviously, it's gonna be mainstream one. A lot of people are gonna be doing this, but it's gonna be a response to obviously COVID-19, coronavirus. I think it's important to kind of maybe put a slice in there of, I can respond to what is going on around in the world at the moment. And obviously every profession has been affected by bloody COVID-19. So I think it's not about the fact that everyone else is going to be doing it. It's going to be like, okay, how do I uh, address this subject in a unique way that's kind of, uh, that belongs to me and kind of will possibly stick out compared to the rest. So whether that be looking into the historical context of like disease and art, how has that changed? Cultural, political indications through all of this. And then obviously voicing your own opinion slash imagery slash your own take on how that's going to work in the contemporary context. Uh, yeah, I'm giving away all my RCA secrets here. But um, if I, I mean, let's, let's find out if I uh, even get in this year, I guess. Um, yeah, I could get rejected again. So as you can see from the footage that I'm showing slash the uh, words that are coming out of my mouth, I'm still at quite an experimental stage. I'm just trying to lay down the foundations of those four different projects that I'm going to do and address. For my portfolio, I will probably be showing kind of some of my work in the background of my uh, videos. Next month, I am heading back to the UK, less than a month until I'm back in the UK with a new space, new energy, new studio. So that would be a very exciting time for me. Uh, please subscribe if you are interested in continuing to follow my RCA application process because I'll be documenting it all. Even if you're not interested in the RCA, I am going to be making some really interesting work. So make sure you subscribe. And uh, yeah, so DM me if you have any questions or drop a comment in the uh, comment section below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. And I hope that this has been somewhat of a beneficial insight into a little bit of the information that I've been talking to RCA students about. And yeah, as I said, ask more questions if you need to. So thank you for watching and here is my awkward goodbye.